Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. Today we're going to take a look in on the African Night Crawlers. In the Vermi Bag Mini Mammoth. Nope, Little Mammoth. Why can't... I just really wanted it to be Mini Mammoth, and that's, I guess, what I'm going to call it. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look in on them. Alright, well, here's the blanket that I put in place last week. And it looks like, at the very least, one of the little worms, I think that's a worm, crawled up there and couldn't find his way back. A couple pieces of worm jerky. That's not cool. Um, it does look like they are living, or hanging out, on the blanket. Not sure how easily these are going to shake off. Not two. All right, well, I'm going to fold it up and hope they're okay till I get done with the video. Okay, well, over here we can see that they are doing quite a little, quite a lot of business here right on top. All right, so what we're looking at here is quite a bit of worm castings just right on the top. I don't normally see that, so I think the blanket is working. You can tell that's very damp, uh, and as promised, more sprouts. So let's see what we can find here. See if we have a worm ball of any sort. And it's a little spread out. But I do see quite a bit of worms here. African night crawlers don't generally ball up the way that European night crawlers and blue worms and red worms do. They tend to stay kind of dispersed. I think the only time I had a really good worm ball was when I fed them cooked rice. I don't know, let's see. Here in the avocado little bit of a concentration. Let's see. Pull that out. There we go. Sort of a worm ball right there inside the avocado. Not a super awesome worm ball, but worm ball nonetheless. The moisture is much better this week. Not sure how well that translates, but to on camera, but the moisture is far and wide much, much better. Found a little bit of the melon that was left over. They're still hanging out there. Kind of just uh, looking through everything here. Looks like they're doing pretty good. And let's see, that was a banana piece, I think that they're kind of concentrated around. But the moisture's staying good. Let's see. Another concentration there a little bit. I'm just gonna fluff up the the whole thing here. Here's another avocado. A little bit of a worm ball there. Just kinda going through everything, seeing what they're accomplishing. Really need to try and get some coconut coir in. The paper does do that little sticky business if I can't add that to it. But yeah, other than this stick, pumpkin stem, a couple pieces of paper that have stuck together and then so I don't really see any food that's recognizable, except for the avocados. And as we know, those are not fast food. Those are long-term food for the, for the worms. So I'm just going to kind of distribute this all out here, bury the big pieces below, and then let's see what we've got for them currently. All right, I'm not going to give them all of this, but I'm going to give them about half a gallon of the worm goo from, not worm goo, apple, apple goo. 
So this is crab apples that have been juiced, and this is what's left over in the dry side of the juicer. It's a really pretty color. My son was asking me, can't we do something with that besides feed it to the worms? And I'm like, well, I think if I'd given it more thought in the beginning, we could have made applesauce or something. Um, but I did not actually think about it. But that's nice, and you can see the the ones that didn't make the cut for making juice, but they're not very big. I managed to juice, I think it was uh, two garbage bags, and I got two and a half gallons of juice. Not a great return on these, um, but the worms enjoy what's the leftovers, so we should see maybe a worm ball next time. I'm gonna just take the bedding off the sides and fill that you know over I mean it is a closed system so there shouldn't be any bugs but um, just you know for peace of mind in case you're wondering what this is this is what's on the inside of a pizza box weird Casey's pizza box I'm always kind of weirded out like why doesn't it shred proper but they do end up eating it so it is definitely edible, it just takes a little bit longer. Alright, I don't know. I'm going to dig around a little bit down the side and see if there's any dryness. Because I'm afraid that, you know, the stuff that I've been putting on top is, is moist, but is there anything drier down low? And it does, it does feel a little bit dried drier down there than it does on top. So I'm going to incorporate that a little bit and then I am going to get my squeeze bottle out and give them some more water. Okay, so we're just going to give them one liter today. Alright, you can probably have seen that I am kind of focusing along the edges and that is where things seem to be drying out the most. Um, because perhaps because of the fabric. The airflow, which is good, um, does tend to dry things out. Um, so that's where I was concentrating most of the water. So that's put uh, a liter of water on here, uh, which for Americans that's a, a bit of a quart, give or take. And I'm going to put their blanket back on top. But I think I'm gonna maybe wet the blanket, wet the top of the blanket in case some of them get, oops, Worm quick. Um, stuck. I don't know, maybe you should bend this a little bit. Okay. And I left just a little bit of water to, to leave some on top here in case they. Make it up here. I don't want them to turn into worm jerky again. Maybe this will evaporate. I don't know. Um, I don't think I ever had that with the bubble wrap. I don't know what the difference is. But they uh, did not find their way back back home underneath and became worm jerky. So maybe this little bit of moisture will uh, help them stay normal long enough so they can make it across and to the other side. Curiosity apparently also kills worms. Uh, not just cats. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the African Nightcrawlers today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.